That alone is worrying because if they were hiding a vaccine that they could have given out since the beginning and put lives on the line, that means they want money maybe? And they wanted votes and re-election. Fix this. Ooh. Might be the right height. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Yeah. Hmm. No, you can't see. Well, I try to clean my glasses. Let me just tell you this. Welcome back to my channel. This is officially over it. And you're here with me. It's been a while since I have uploaded a video. I guess I know that. And now I have no idea what to do. But I kind of do. But I kind of don't. That's okay. The only thing I know is that I got a new computer. I finally could actually edit videos. I could finally get things in motion. I was busy launching other channels that I'm going to be coming soon. That I am slowly building them up as I build mine. For experience, you know what I mean? Filming, editing, filming and editing, rebuilding, post. But yeah, welcome back. Thank you if you have returned to my channel. And if you're new here, hi. So yeah, this is officially over and I am the creator and developer of this channel. Welcome, I welcome you to this channel and I hope that you find this entertaining. The reason why I decided to make a video about this topic is because it's very interesting to me since the beginning. But now, just to give a, you could say, a, a specific date and what's going on. This is October 4th that I am recording, exactly 9.37 p.m. on a Sunday. A few days ago, the President of the United States got Let me just rephrase it. A few days ago, the President was... Let me just put it out there. Got, you know, the virus, you just say that. And the First Lady. What I know is as somebody who wants to do business, who did want to do political and economics, I know for a fact he will put his life on the line for a new vaccine. Why would he do that? Because it makes him look good. It makes him sound good. It brings his image in a better place than what he is currently at this moment. Supposedly, he is going to return as president. In 13 hours, please correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you could just write it down. I will read it. And supposedly, people will be happy about it. Maybe asking happy about what? It's just the idea that he's a warrior or he's a hero because he sacrificed himself to get a vaccine or a trialed vaccine for him to be able to get cured and then get cured. Even though I believe that might be just a scam. I don't think he really did got it because nobody that I've seen or hear about doesn't get cured in three days or two days. And if they do get cured by a vaccine, were they hiding it? Were they hiding it from the public? Or they just didn't want to take out that vaccine and give it to the public? If that's the case, you can say. That alone is worrying. Because if they were hiding a vaccine that they could have given out since the beginning and put lives on the line, that means they want money maybe? And they wanted votes and re-election. But you could say right now that people are divided because they don't know if they should celebrate or not celebrate too early. I am not a person about celebrating it, you can say, because, you know, what's going on in the world already is already bad enough. And for him to get it is like, okay, hopefully you learn, make sure you fix up your mess and your damages. And hopefully the president could realize that Kobe is real if he actually got it. 
and not staged for him to look good. But let me just tell you now, straight up now. I feel like he is faking it because someone who knows about political more or less because by my experience in uh, economics and love about history and want to be a businessman, it's perfect. It's a great, great plan to fake that you have, you can say, the virus and then get cured in a three days spam or three days, you can say, time and then say you got cured by this vaccine and then you can use that for your image be saying that look i sacrificed myself for y'all and you should vote for me because i sacrificed myself for you all and that's enough for me to get your votes and trust which first of all he should not be doing that and second of all he's no warrior because everybody else is a warrior whoever got the virus they're fighting for their lives. So just because he's the president doesn't mean he has to be on a pedestal either. That doesn't mean you're on a pedestal at all. And if he got cured in a few days, compared to those other people who took weeks, maybe months, it's suspicious. And then for him to come back, supposedly in 13 hours after October 3rd, supposedly, he should still be in isolation because he doesn't know if he still carries it or he might be able to transmit it to somebody because the virus still lives in one person's body. And for him to be like, I'll be back and then I'll give a surprise visit. Surprise visit. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. But you can see in general, my conspiracy is that the president never got the virus and he decided to use it as for him to look good to the public or you can say get boost on the vote because since he got the virus he was a victim so he can be able to connect with the audience and be like i'm a victim from that and i should be treated or be equal to you and because i got cured if you vote for me i'll release the the vaccine and for you all to be cured as well if you vote for me don't be surprised if he does that because first of all for somebody to get sick and then from then on to get transported to that place and then the third day supposedly to get better and then maybe the fourth back in office you can tell right away that that was fake and on top of that if there was a real vaccine and it worked now you know that they always had a vaccine but they just never gave it or they decided to give it only to the president because he was valuable i can understand he's valuable because of the position he holds but it doesn't make sense why would other people would be sacrificed just for a campaign for votes just in general because this topic is very tough to talk about i don't even know if this video will be released and if it is yurio which is me yurio you got a lot of guts to release this video <laughs> i could even say to me you have a lot of guts because this is a very strong topic and i would talk about it but i don't know if i could release it because this topic is very difficult to touch upon because I will get backlash, I will get hate, I will get this whole bunch of nonsense for just my conspiracy, my thoughts, and my hypothesis. And um, I don't even know what to say because people would just come after you. I have an opinion too, you know. And if you disagree with my opinion, then don't put hate in it. There's a difference between hate and feedback and corrections then versus, you know, you're bad or you're a horrible person or you should vote for this person or I'm just like, I vote for whatever I want. I believe what I believe and I am who I am. That's me. You don't like it, then leave. Go somewhere else. Hate yourself. I don't care. Um, you do you. Whatever floats your boat, you know. But yeah, I don't know what to say. 
I'm just recording, just going off how it is. But yeah, I do believe this is a host. Don't forget to like and share and comment your opinions down below because they all actually count. Follow us on social media. We have Twitter, we got Instagram, we got TikTok. We'll link it down in the description below if you're interested and I hopefully you do follow us as well. And on top of that, don't forget to vote because every single voice counts. And especially at this time, as you know. <laughs>